Hi kids, in today's video, we're going to learn how to make a very basic rocket launcher and rocket with just two materials, paper and straw. Post that, we're going to learn a very simple science concept, but we'll get to that after we do the activity. For doing this activity, you can get these sheets from our website, the link for which is in the video description. You can either download them and get them printed or you can just download them for reference. When you download these sheets, you are going to get in total 7 sheets. So let's go through them one after the other. Sheet 1. Identify the items in your activity kit. First, a sheet with 2 rockets drawn. Second, a sh an explanation sheet. Sheet 2 is the items to collect you can, which you actually require to do these activities. Sheet 3 is the instruction sheet where you can see there is step by step given all the instruction which will help you build your own rocket and your launcher. Sheet 4, the second last sheet is how to use your rocket launcher and a few questions. Don't worry, the questions can be solved after you actually do the activity. First, we need tape. Then we need scissors. We need sketch pens of our choice. So I have taken five of them here. Green, blue, purple, black and yellow. We need an A4 sheet. And lastly we need a straw. This is optional. You can also have two sheets. But we would recommend you to use a straw because it performs way better. So guys, are you all ready to make your launcher and your rocket? So let's go through our instructions one after the other so that we don't miss out on any step. So step 1. Look for a sheet which has two rocket wings and start coloring the rockets of your choice. So this is the sheet that has two rocket wings. So we are gonna, color, we're gonna start coloring them and you can use any colors that you want. So just go and do it. Now step 2, once you have finished coloring your rocket wings, then cut the wings along the border one by one after cutting fold it on the dotted line. So now that you can see, we are going to cut our wings on the edges and this is the dotted line that we need to fold it on. So let's start cutting. Now I'm going to fold it on this dotted line. So let's start folding one of them. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect but a little here and there it's fine. So done. This is one. This is the other one. Now step 3. Take a straw or take a A4 sheet and roll it into a thin pipe from the smaller side and use cello tape to finish the pipe and keep it aside. So here we have our straw but if you do not have a straw you can use an A4 sheet. Roll it from the thinner side and make it as thin as possible. And you can tape it here. Step 4. Now take a A4 sheet and cut it into half from the smaller side. So I'm going to fold it once and cut it on this side, on this fold. Thank you. 
we need only one half so i'm going to keep away the other half now of this half i'm going to ha make it another half so on the higher side on the bigger side fold it into half and cut on this fold we need only one of these so i'm going to keep the other one aside now roll this into a pipe which is thicker than the straw so i'm going to keep the straw inside and then start rolling it and i'm going to use some cello tape to finish this pipe there was a little extra so i'm going to cut that and a little on this side then we are good so that it's tight enough okay here is a pipe and see this is a little thicker than this one so that you can check if it actually goes properly without any uh, problems now let's see what is the next step step 5 for the pipe in step 4 stick the one opening of the pipe and stick the wings on two sides of the pipe on the open end so this is our pipe so we need to shut one of the openings so i'm going to shut this one make sure that you shut it properly there is no air coming out hold it tightly and then you put your cello tape and now for the other open end now that you have your wings you need to stick them on two sides like that so that it looks like a rocket here so i'm going to get some glue and stick it so i'm going to put some glue on this on the edges and i'm going to take it and stick it to the paper and on the other side Again I'm going to put some glue on the edge of the folding the folded edge and I'm going to stick it on the opposite side. So now we need to wait for a minute or two for the glue to dry or else if it is still wet uh, when we try to launch our rocket uh, it might just fall off. So let's just wait for a minute for it to dry. So guys are you ready to launch a rocket and play with it? So let's go to sheet 4. Here you can see it's the sheet specifies how to use it and it has a few questions. We'll get to that later. But how to use it? Now place the rocket. This is your rocket. Now place the rocket in your straw and don't push it. Just put it lightly so that it's not stuck. So I've just put dropped it and you're gonna blow air from here. Okay, so let's try to do it. So guys, this is going to be a start line, and I'm going to try to launch the rocket in two di in three different directions. So first, let's try pointing it extremely up, straight to the ceiling. Oh oh! So it launched only the rear. I'm going to keep a red pencil over there so that we know till where it has reached. Now, let's try to launch it straight, pointing extremely straight. Okay, so I'm going to push the orange pen here, and now I'm going to do it not straight, but not extremely uh, uh, like pointing up also, but in the middle. Okay, so it's going to be inclined. Whoa! So guys, I want you all to. Whenever you launch a rocket, I want you to see the rocket how it's flying. 
So what did we observe? We observed that when we tried to launch the rocket, when it was pointing to the ceiling, it went up very high, but it fell very near me, which is the red one. And this was my starting line. So this is the curve that it observed, that the rocket took to fly. Now second, when I pointed it straight, it launched and it came to the orange line. Not that near, but not that far too. And what was, how was the rocket flying? It went straight and then it started curving down towards the ground. When we launched it at an incline, that is not pointing to the uh, ceiling, not pointing straight, it went up and then it started going down and it went far away. Okay, so that was the maximum length that the, our rocket reached and it travelled. But what, what is the other thing that we observe? Whenever the rocket was flying, it was not going straight, extremely straight. It was curving after some time. Here it went up and then it curved. When it was pointing straight, it went up and then it started moving down at an angle. So whatever things you launch, like a ball or anything that you launch in the air, it will never go straight or it will never fall down directly. It's going to take a curved, like a curved angle, like a curved flight before it actually reaches the floor. And this is called projectile motion. We really hope that you love the activity. If you want more of these STEM activities, please let us know on our website www.thesparkclub.in. Thank you.